For instance, when you have your data with the same columns but placed in different sheets and you want to merge all this data or in your own combine it, so one piece of data will be, will be placed behind another and so forth, so you will have a good data source which will adjust automatically when you edit your sources, your individual uh, sources, uh, so that you will uh, have your beautiful report which will uh, adjust in the, on real time. Yeah, let's see how to create it. So I've prepared three uh, small tables which will represent our three data sources. And you may just imagine that they are placed on different sheets, different places, so you will need to combine them together to create a report. And you may see one more thing. I intentionally made that one of them is empty. So there is no data here and this is also interesting and let's see how we can combine them in order to make a beautiful report. And the trick is, uh, you can do it in multiple ways, but the trick of this way is that you can combine arrays in your condition too. And let me show you how you can do this. First I will create a filter of each of them, each of this array, and I will bring them one behind another. I will make uh, an array literal, but for f just uh, to make it faster, I will make all columns at, at once. But better uh, approach is to use individual columns. First column A, then uh, comma, column B, C, and so forth. Just to make it it's this formula shorter so you can uh, better understand it I'll create like this but and also I need to add semicolon because I want to bring one data below another not comma here and what I meant I meant that you could go ahead and do this like comma B comma C to bring all three but in this case I'll simplify my formula just to create a C array uh, and hopefully our users won't add new columns inside and which will break our formula. And next, here the trick. The trick is you can combine your uh, array of conditions too. And in my case my conditions will be date, timestamps, one below another. So you see that they are also from row 3 into final row without ending. So this will produce the array of the same length of these three. So formula will work fine and I just need to add condition not equals to empty string. Uh, so it should work. Uh, you see uh, filter range must be single row single columns uh, and yes it is true because I added these commas to here but I only needed to add the, uh, semicolons uh, so that you see one data comes bef after another and next when I fix this issue I have my report done and I even don't need to add if errors even though my uh, uh, my first second data is empty, uh, there is no chance that all my data will be empty because otherwise there is no sense in this entire report. So not, now I even don't need to add a error in my formula and it looks clear and small. And if you add new data here, let add uh, some data. You see it adjusts automatically when I copy this. I can. Great. And even if you add to your empty report, you will also see uh, the result. So I think it is uh, great and also if you combine this technique with one I've earlier showed you in my previous video, so you can add even uh, names of each data represented here. So you can add a name, uh, data number one, data number two, data number three and so forth so it will be shown in a separate column for you so uh, this is looks this looks great to me and uh, happy to hear from, from comments your other ways to achieve the same result